the context within which we're functioning, uh, whether it is a middle-income country, high-middle-income country, uh, or, or a, a low-middle-income country, or a developed country, uh, the impact of activation measures and the reasons for which we're using them differ enormously. Um, and there is, uh, of course, a, a political uh, side to it as well. Uh, in, the, in, in the case of Turkey, for example, active labor market policies have served a very, very good purpose right after the economic crisis. They actually have addressed the enormous jobs crisis to some extent and quite successfully. So I think that's why, in fact, in the closing panel, uh, it was highlighted that uh, the Turkish government was for the active labor market policies because they have used it in a uh, in a good context and and, and quite uh, uh, actively and quite speedily, I would say, right after the crisis. Um, and I think that was timely and that was quite targeted and that was well done. Uh, but I think overall, to say something positive or negative about activation measures will totally depend on the context within which you're functioning and unless you address the informal economy and activation measures could be a part of the solution of that, as I had highlighted in my, uh, in my presentation as well, uh, then you could in fact uh, um, come up with a, a more macro policy that would in, in fact uh, address the um, contextual local issues in each locality.